Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pokemon Chaos Inversita. Last episode, we got the third gym badge, defeated Nikki very easily. We then went to the lake and defeated Tess. So now we're going to head east, make our way down, I think, Route 5, 6, 7, another area to get to the next city where the next gym is. So let's not make our way across and see what's going to happen on the way. Hopefully we're into, like, Team Duplicate or something and uh, have a nice little event there. But let's start things off a nice little battle. Boo! Haha! -ha! Should see your face. Okay, it wasn't that scary. We've got Pumpkaboo! Oh, that's gonna get absolutely deleted. Our team right now is looking very good. In this last few episodes, we've uh, got four fairy types, which we're gonna change at some point once we um, find some more regionals. Maybe we can even find a regional this route, maybe the next route. But Togepi still a Togepi. We have Swirlix, it's still a Swirlix. Hopefully they'll evolve soonish. And the rest of our team. Looking badass. Very badass. I think we need a shiny stone for Floet. So once we find that, we can... I just got to double check out that shiny stone now. I'm like 99% sure I don't. Uh, just in case. Uh, yeah, I don't have one. It'd be really awkward, awkward if I did. <laughs> Yo! So Vesita Mountains are home to countless artifacts that provide insights into Vesita's past. Isn't that exciting? It's very exciting. Lunatone. Uh, we should probably switch. That's not a good matchup for us. Let's go, 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 and then we'll just seed bomb you. But yeah, Nikki was that. Uh, the gym leader was very easy. She was a water type, and we just energy board our way to victory. I mean, we bopped in the Gyarados, but yeah, for the most part, pretty easy. Pretty easy. Didn't feel like we we're going to lose that fight. And then Tess still hasn't, hasn't got a chest knot yet, but hopefully the next time we battle her, and we battle the other rival that have Delphox as well, so we have Delphox Chestnut, see what they not like. Because Greninja looks sick. Looks so sick, and I really want to see what Delphox and Chestnut looks like. We'll have to wait just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Alright, Relicamp, we will go for Sea Bomb! Ain't no way you live that, right? Nice! Alright, last one. Please be easy to beat. Hey, level 39. Keep them levels going. Hey, 38, come on! Flail? Uh, no, I don't want Flail. Unknown? Ooh, unknown. It's not often you see a trainer have an unknown. Like, I like I like unknown, but not as a Pokemon. I like the, like, the concept and idea about it. But as a Pokemon, I, just, I don't like it. <laughs> uh, let's go grab that TM. So, which way are we going? Because it looks like... From the sound of that guy we just battled, we can maybe go north towards the mountains, but Route 5 and Route 6. Uh, don't think any regionals there. Oh! Oh, the Professor! Hey there, what's up, Soblu? Boltsy, how are you? I'm doing pretty well. Soblu and I just came from Osha City, where we taught new battle techniques to the local gym leader. Oh great, make him even stronger, but she's a very uh, experienced fighter, so training won't be a problem for her. You've encountered 180 Pokemon and caught 12 Pokemon. <laughs> Only caught 12. To continue your adventure, you'll need a bike to pass a cycling track. Pokeventure gave me a coupon for you. One second. Oh, nice. What's up, Soblu? Don't worry, we'll continue training soon. Wait, what do you have there? No way. I lost a coupon and Soblu must have found it. Hey, thank you, Soblu. But a coupon, a bike is almost unaffordable. Is that done? <laughs> Why are bikes so expensive? But, but listen, listen, Boltsy. I'm not going to make it easy for you. I'll give you the bike coupon if you can prove yourself and battle against me. Deal? Absolutely. Show me what you've learned on your journey so far. Okay, let's go. I don't know why, but I love it when you battle the professors in Pokemon games. Like in X and Y when you battle Sycamore after uh, the seventh gym, I think it is. I always thought that was so cool. But let's, uh, let's go for a poison jam. Critical hit. Nice. I'm not sure what type you are. Just for poison jam, might do a little bit more than incinerate. One more should finish you off. Ah, oh, super potion, you suck. Still, I think one more should finish you off unless you heal up again. No, we good, we good. Alright, what else you got for us? We have a Goomy! Goomy, 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 Goomy! Let's go Floet and we'll just fairy wind it. Oh, it's a new Goomy! That looks kind of cool. I like that little pattern on it. 
Yeah, I guess it's still part dragon. It's weak to fairy. Nice. Alright, if I find a Gumi, I'm gonna catch one. And then Swablu. Uh we'll go 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 in this rock tomb it. Rock tomb! Unlucky Swablu. Didn't stand a chance. Now we're taking that bike voucher, thank you very much. Alright, you're really strong, Voltsy. You clearly deserve the spike coupon. You can redeem it at the bike shop in River Ridge. Hey! So I'm heading home now, or should I say hi to your parents for you? Sure, why not? Enjoy your bike ride. So, what's up here? Oh, this is the way to go. Alright, so let me just uh, grab this first. PP up. So, where does going east take us then? Oh, we got. We go north to the mountains. Yo ho ho, no one enters the eastern mountains without battle me! Okay. Well, we probably don't want to go through the mountains until we get strength, I think. Because when we came through the first time, I saw a lot of strength boulders, but we obviously don't have strength. We get box mesh. Once we get strength, some more Hitchums, we start making our way through and see what like new ways we can discover. Man, I love Rocky Helmet. Nice. Alright, what else you got for us? Come on, something easy. Skiddo! Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we can stay in. That's what you can grow up to be, Skiddo. A big, strong, powerful go go. Rock to me back. Nice! Almost one shot ya. We ain't gonna outspeed you because. <laughs> obviously, you put our speed down and. We put your speed down, still gonna be the same. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so this is, yeah, the mountains. Uh, can I quickly go in and grab that item to the left, though? Can I quickly pop a repel. So things a little bit easier. You need rock climb. Yeah, you need strength to go that way. Let me just quickly talk to that guy in case it gives us strength. I doubt it, but... Yeah, so we need strength to continue. Ooh, let's break this. Iron, okay, it's gonna run away. Copper ore, nice. Alright, so what do we got here? Oh, Diggersby's got a mega evolution as well, nice. Okay, might have to try and catch one. Alright, so we go back this way. Uh, let's go back down, and then there was a way to the right as well. So this is Route 6. Oh, we need Surf to continue for Route 6. So that little um, island there must be uh, this place here, the Isle of Unity. Which I guess we'll come back once we get Surf. Sounds so cool. So it's good to explore now, just so we get like a little, you know, idea of what we want to do later on. So on the other side of the river is a lovely uh, Baven beach that can only be reached with a bike or surf upgrade for your FME. Alright. Super potion, nice. More of those, the better. And I think that's everything we want to explore at the moment. This is a little south area. That's where we came from, okay. So let's go get the bike. Which is, I believe, just here. Nice. Yeah, you. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I haven't got a million pocket dollars, but I do have a coupon. Then you'll get a brand new model for free. Haha. <laughs> nice. The cycling track on Route 6 is perfect for a test ride. I wonder what color we'll get. Honestly, I quite like the green bike. I mean, the red bike would be nice, but... I, don't know, I think the green would just look kind of cool. If, that, if it was up to me to choose, I'll choose red. But I kind of hope it's a green one. We'll find out in a second once we uh, get to the cycling bit. Let's go around here. Did I talk to this person? So I ride my bike every day. The shortcut to the uh, Baven Beach on Route 6 is my favorite route. The cycling track makes it possible. All right, here we go. What bike do we have? It's a red one. I'm still happy with it. 
All right, uh, let's see how tough these people are. Fight me, fight me. So I've got an incredible pace, get ready for a collision. No, don't crash into me. I'm not wearing a helmet. No pads, I'm gonna get hurt. I've been in some nasty bike crashes in my life and it's, it's not fun. I mean, it's never my fault, absolutely. <laughs> but um, yeah, went down a slide on my bike once. Such a dumb thing to do, but when you've got friends egging you on, you just peer pressure, man. <laughs> went down a big slide and just, whoop, just went into someone. And there was another time, it wasn't not my fault, it was my bike, but I had a bike that had no brakes. I was fine with riding it, because obviously, like, the way I went home, it's all good, no one around. But uh, my friend was like, oh, yo, can I, uh, can I come to yours? I was like, yeah, sure. So he rode my bike, he gave me a piggyback, and he didn't know I didn't have brakes. He went a different way the way I usually go. And then he went to go break and just went right into someone walking home and yeah, just bam, crashed right into him. <laughs> I was just like, that's not my fault. Not my fault. I weren't riding the bike. It was my bike though. But yeah, make sure you have brakes on your bike. <laughs> Moral of the story. <laughs> and a helmet. And don't crash into people. And don't go down slides. Life lessons with Boxy, yeah. All right, now let's uh, poison the chapter for fairy. Nice, one shot on that bad boy. Okay, what else? Hey, go them levels, man. Oh, Stone Edge, yes, please. Goodbye, Rock Tomb, hello, Stone Edge. Nice. Doing the big damage now. The big boy moves coming out. Fero, yeah, man. Just like a brand new move for you. Just for you, Fero, just for you. This is all for you, buddy. Bam! Woo! Oh, good. Right, what else you got? Uh, Skitty. That's fine. Just Stone Edge. Also, I feel like Togepi is like never gonna become a Togetic. <laughs> I guess I could just keep going left and right on the bike road here. Might be good to just get the steps in for Togepi. He's got the Soothe Bell on, so it should be a bit easier, but... <laughs> We're gonna be having a Togepi for the whole game. We're not, because I'm gonna replace it at some point. It's just on my team now for... Just in case. Just in case I do get, I do get like a Togekiss and I do want to use it, but... I think at the, this point I probably want to just, uh... I don't know. Just use regionals. Lechinda, uh, let's go back into Go Go. Stone Edge ya! Absolutely obliterate ya. Stone Edge! Woo! Critical hit as well, BB! Nice. Okay, what else we got on this roost? Is it? Nope, got another trainer. Last one, I attack at the speed of light. Beware. Alright, what you got for us? One some fast Pokemon? I think it's Blitzel's probably pretty fast, right? Uh, let's poison Jab, but not faster than my Greninja. Nice, critical hit, let's go! Pretty sure the crit isn't mana, I probably would have one shot anyway, but it's nice to get the crit first hit. And Lip Leo, let's poison Jab! Alright. Poison Jab again. Let's see what's on the other side. So it's gonna be Route 7, right? I think. So between Route 6 and Route 7 lies the uh, Unitum Grotto. Very mysterious place with lots of legends surrounding it. Oh man. Definitely wanna go there. Wait, is that a Pokemon Center? Oh nice. Let's go, BB! Good old Pokemon Center in a perfect place. Alright, so what do we got around here? This should take us to that, like, place, but we, I don't think we can get there without surf. But still worth a check, just in case there's something down here. Oh, Oh, no, so I can come back. Oh, hi. Hey, you're blocking my view. Sorry. Just want to see if you can be some free stuff, man. Free stuff is best stuff. Uh, we will switch into... 
the airflow should be fine. Keep energy pulling. And you missed the rock slide, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Because I, I like a lot of the rock moves in Pokemon, but man, the accuracy sometimes suck. Love Rock Slide, love Stone Edge. But man, they just miss a lot. Obviously, Pyrus, Kyra, what I guess, but still. Ooh, that did a lot. Unless Quick Claw activates, I'm gonna lose. Should I, should I risk it? Risk it, Quick Claw! Oh, man. I live at 1 HP! No way! <laughs> Living for a different reason! Oh, that's so sick! Oh, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that, man. Biscuit for the biscuit, and you end up getting a cookie. It's kind of sick. <laughs> Woo! That is... Oh, that made my day, man. Honestly, I don't know why that made my day so much, but I'm just so happy about that. <laughs> Alright, uh, what else are we doing? Uh, wait, so you got a little kid chasing a Krabby. And then I go, wait. Ah, just trying to, just look, there you go. So I'm playing catch with my Krabby. It's way too fast for me though, and now it's chasing you! <laughs> Alright, I want to get that item. Oh, now I have to go all the way around. Uh, do you want to fight? You do. Just want to relax a bit, but if you really want to fight, go ahead. Yeah, I do want to fight. Experience is always good. Although I feel like I'm a little bit... Not a little bit, I feel like I'm a lot OP. Because I'm fighting everyone. And I start off, like, the game with, like, what, the first two gyms with, like, three Pokemon? But it's fine, it's fine. Eventually we'll get to a place where we won't be OP. Oh, that was it. Sweet. I can always turn on level scaling if I get too OP, you know? So I got sand in my shorts and I don't care. It won't stop me from battling. Atta boy. Don't let sand ruin your day. Alright, Grand Ball Arts get poison jab super hard. Nice. Gotta stop using Greninja soon though, it's getting so OP. Uh, oh, you want an energy ball? Yeah, sure, why not? What is this thing going to evolve? I think it might need something. I was, I always thought like Swirlix and Spritzy both needed an item, but because Spritzy evolved in this game really early on, I was thinking maybe Swirlix, because it's a different regional, won't need whatever it needs. I think maybe it still does. Ooh, little cheeky hidden item up there. Got a great ball. Uh, do I have to break that rock? No. Ah, oh, man, I think I have to go different way. All right, so let me go back. Just gonna pop the rappel. Make it a little bit easier. So we want to go drop down here. Yeah. Grab this. Double team! And if we have Surf, we go that way. Ooh! Don't feel like working in Greta's barn anymore. I'd rather stay with the Dwebble who live here on the beach. Hmm, fair enough. If you don't want to work in a barn, don't work in a barn. There's plenty of other jobs in the in the world. Uh, don't have another repel. Right, let's continue down the route. Let's see where it takes us. Maybe more Route 7 to check out, or it'll be like... To, is it Osha City? Uh, just run. And I'm going to lead off with Aromatisse for a little bit. Probably should heal up actually. No reason not to. Get that PP back. Doo, 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 doo. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Now this takes- oh, to a boat! The other side of the bay lies Route 7, also known as Hanera Desert. Getting there, we have to sail around the legendary Isle of Unity at the speed of light. A ride costs you only a laughable 250 poker dollars. Yeah, sure, why not? What have you done with the money? <laughs> Looks like you're really poor. It's gonna suck for you. 
Ooh, I like the music here. Right, what can we find? Uh, we got Doramaka, Cacnea, Sandile, Mankey, Hippopotas, Growlithe, Staryu, Finian, Kavana, Corsola, Chinchow, Horsey, and Totodile. Alright. So we'll probably repel just yet in case we find a cool regional, and I should probably lead off with. Uh, maybe Floette would be the best Pokemon to use around here. Alright, what do I want to do? Seems like there's a lot to explore at the moment. It's a bit hard to see with the sand in the way, but you can make it out. Just so much sand. So the Hanera Desert is uh, is home to many ground type Pokemon. Here's a little preview. Oh, okay. Come on, show me the brand new regional. That's just a stun fist, sir. Uh. Ow! <laughs> just help my chair. All right, come on, Edgy Ball, do big damage. Oh, almost one shot on you. Don't paralyze. Thank you very much. If I got paralyzed, I would have been annoyed. Oh, dude. I hate your jaw. Quick claw, baby! Can't activate when I need you to activate, though. <laughs> The sandstorm's gonna be super annoying later on. Uh, uh, safeguard, not Sandguard, Safeguard, no thank you. Lavitar, ooh, regional Lavitar maybe? Nope, I'm just energy ball it then. Nice, get wrecked! Alright, what else you got for us, last one? Crocorock. Now we've seen Sand Island's normal, so. Just uh, energy ball you one more time. Wait. All good. Do -do 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 -do. Thank you. All right, so there's two ways to go. There's a dead end. Let's talk to you. Poke on this route. Hide in the tall grass to escape the constant sandstorm. Yeah, I don't blame them. It is. Not nice. Uh, let's go down this bit, check out the bones. Will we have an item? Ooh, nugget, sweet! You should always check some like random rocks sometimes, just... The ones that look a little, little bit out of place usually have something on them. Uh, Joe Ho Ho! With the sandstorm I have to be careful not to lose my hat! That's at least of my concerns. All the sand getting in my eyes, I want to not lose my vision. Energy ball, I ain't got much PP left. I do have an ether though, so if I don't make it to the city in time, just pop the ether. Or switch to go-go, do see bomb for a little bit. Either way, I don't mind. Reveler, that's all good. Nice. Okay, so. Let's just keep going through. Ooh. Can we get to that? Oh, uh. Oh, when Arceus finds you, it's over. First, they break into your house, devastate everything, steal a few secret artifacts on the side, and then quickly vanish into thin air. The Hanera Temple is a dead end for now. You won't escape me from, from me that easily. Maybe I can still stop them. I'm the uh, Osha City Jimmy for a reason. Oh, okay. Nice. Guess we go this way. Huh? Oh, I can find that little tree. Now we go grab this. What we got? <gasps> Shiny stone. Nice. So, uh, this should work on Floette, right? Yeah. Let's get our floor guess. Oh, oh, oh! That looks badass. That looks so good. Yeah, man. Oh, I'm really happy with that. Nice! Oh man, this is going to be so strong. Very happy with this bad boy. Ooh, okay, just put my attack down, that's fine. We're just going to run because we're like double your level. <laughs> hey, no more sandstorm. I need Surf to get down, fortunately. Oh, Team Duplica. May not have uh, stopped the gym leader, but you look like an easy match. <laughs> that what you really think? 
Okay. Actually, to be fair, having a poison type against me, uh, yeah, sure. I think I'll switch. Um, let's go to Greninja. Poison type against the Grass Fairy is not good. Alright, sorry, Postman came. Alright, uh, let's go for Incinerate. Take out this Grimer. Nice. And we'll go for one more Incinerate. Because I've got to stop to keep saying Postman every single time. Because it's not every time it's the Postman. Sometimes it's like the Amazon driver, not really a Postman. <laughs> well, I don't know, actually. Would you... Uh, not technically delivering. But, yeah, to me, I always like Postman. is just like the, the Royal Mail person delivers the letters and everything. I've been saying since like I was a little kid and now all the delivery stuff you can get. Uh, still, I just always say Postman. Delivering food to me. Postman. <laughs> Got my Amazon parcel, postman. Deliver my letter like a postman, postman. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna postman pan. Easy peasy. That's one team duplicate member down. And let's go find the next one. Uh, we might be alright. I want to use this like floor gas. Real bad. All right, what you got for us? Please let me a poison type because if that is poison type, I gotta switch. No, we good. We good. Gonna energy ball this bad boy. Nice! Got today, Jorba. And Lit Leo. Uh, probably should switch, yeah. Do I go for an overkill Stone Edge? Yeah, why not? Ooh, Flamethrower, okay. That's not too bad. At least it didn't burn me. If it burnt me, that would have been a little frustrating. <laughs> Cool, can we go to the left side here? Ooh, yeah! Incinerate, I mean, I've been using that for like, most of the game. Don't really need it now. Hey, little Growlithe, uh, don't need you. It's gonna run away. Let me double check, what does Flower Veil do? Is that, do what I think it does? Prince Lorun of Allied Grass type, yeah, sweet. So Intimidate won't work on us. How dare you meddle in Duplica Affairs? Well, I didn't really mean to, I just kind of stumbled upon this place. Alright, Steelix. Uh, that's... Uh, I mean, it's... it might be fine, it might be fine. Yeah, well, we're good, we're good. Oh yeah, I always forget Energy Ball can also load the special defense. Ah, oh, it's so nice. Ooh, good. Dream Eater? Uh, no. Because we didn't get Hypnosis, no point getting this. Alright, so here's the temple! Ooh, Temple time! Got Wise and Upside Down Wise. And Big D's. <laughs> oh, dude, I hate throwing Sock. They are so annoying. But now we've got a Fairy type. We've got many Fairy types. This shouldn't be too bad. I feel like every time like I'm fighting a bunch of Pokemon and I get to these two, I assume it's just got Sork as well. I don't know what it is, but they always just give me a little bit of trouble. Nice. Sludge Bomb, yes please, that would be good. Uh, let's get a lucky charm. Yeah, Sork's coming. And Fairy Wind, you can't have one without the other. Or if you have one Pokemon, the next person you battle is probably going to have the other. <laughs> so it always is. Nice. Oh. So I finally got you. So what do you think you're doing? In the name of Arceus, give it back. You have no idea how to handle it. Uh, silence. We have an expert right here. His name is Marv, a direct descendant of the ancient legend keepers. And this is Penelope. She's the uh, top admin of Team Duplica. Master Alan uh, instructed us to uh, find out how to revive the savior Pokemon with the artifacts. Exactly. I originally uh, come from the 
come from Eurotris Town, a small village in the east of Vesita. There, the locals taught me the wisdom of the legends. Then, but due to a very tragic accident, Marv ended up with us and will help us uh, make Master Island's plans come true. So what the hell? He would do anything to get what he desires. How can you support such a person? Master Island is a genius and knows exactly what he's doing. Should we get started soon? Not as long as the lady is still here. And me! Wait, what? How'd this brat get in here? You look familiar to me. They say you're the troublemaker who supposedly stopped Veronica in Greedaville and Randy in Imperia. You've certainly made a name for yourself in our ranks. <laughs> so you've dealt with these guys before. Then show me how to really get them moving. <laughs> That's a laugh. Marv, you take care of that brat. I'll commit myself to this cheeky companion here. I'll do it with pleasure. Alright, bring it on, Marv. Oh, a little jolting to start things off with. That's fine. Mm, let's try a sludge bomb. Nice! Good start, good start. Uh, Sig Olivia, we're staying. Oh, wait, no, isn't this psychic flying? It doesn't matter anyway. Critical hit, nice. Yeah, I think Sig is a pot flying. I've, like, never used one before in my life, so I always, like, forget what type they are. Uh, Honedge, uh, probably should switch, yeah. Just incinerate ya. Some of these battles I'm thinking I'm gonna be very tough when, uh, you know, we're late game and everyone's got their full teams. we have, like, an Aegis Slash, we'll be Woo. deadly. And a critical hit, nice. Don't think we needed the crit, but I'll take it, man, I'll take it. And slurp off. Oh, we get to see what the evolution looks like. Oh, that looks so cute. That's so cool. I really like that. Now, I don't really remind, don't really mind replacing um, Swellix because we know what the evolution looks like now. Impossible. We must have seriously underestimated you. But that won't stop us from continuing our mission. Team Duplica is onto something big, and it's such an honor for me to be a part of it. Penelope, please. Don't worry, it won't hurt. Oh. Just being fitted with a, a few Rotom handcuffs. Once we're done here, we'll set you free again. Well, maybe. You're about to witness something big. Master Island and his assistant have worked out a plan to uh, get him back on top of Vesita. He was never there. Hush. And that's why we need to make sure that everything will go according to plan. Let's get back to our mission now. Finish it, Penelope. Creature of the night. Bringer of death and doom. Hear my voice and see the gifts we brought you. Lapilli from the Ingo uh, Igno Volcano. Nothing and no one can escape the eternal fire of Vesita. Diamond ore from the Vesita Mountains. There is no more valuable treasure that Mother Nature can produce. Creature of the night, listen to us. Reveal yourself and obey our words. Um, Marv? You promised it would work. I said our chances of, of success were probably not zero. By Arceus. Today seems to be your lucky day. If our guests had actually appeared, it would have been the end of your sad story. Pack up your pack up the artifacts. We're going. Marv, we're talking. We're back in Ped Pedraco. Uh, you'll hear from us soon enough. So are you all right? The handcuffs left slight marks. Don't worry about those guys. I'm sure that Alexo is already chasing after them with all means. Uh, Island and Alexo are old acquaintances. And apparently, Island is still as resentful as he was then. When you've recovered a little bit, drop by my gym. It's in Osha City, east of Route Seven. I absolutely have to experience your battling skills myself. Sounds good. Oh. Oh, a shiny unknown! Nice! Hey, I found a shiny! I'm gonna catch it just because it's a shiny. Am I gonna use it? No, absolutely not. Like I said, was it this episode I saw the unknown and I talked about it, or was it last episode? I think it was last episode. Whenever it was. It's kind of funny, the one shiny I... I find it's an unknown. I mean, apart from the Togepi, obviously, but... I feel like it's always gonna be a shiny. I feel like... Because it's a custom shiny, it just makes sense to give you a... You know, give you a, a cool custom shiny Togepi for the egg. Alright, uh, yeah, let's make our way across and we've gotta be close to the city. I'm gonna get healed up. Oh, come on. Hey, Darumaka. I don't want you, sadly. Ooh, we'll grab that though. Grab all the items I can get. 
Charcoal. Ooh, nice. Might put that on. Do you want Greninja? I don't think there's much point. Because if we switch type, then it's just like wasted. And we've got here calcium. Sweet. That rock so has an item on it. 100%. Bright powder. Woo. Hey, yo. The Relentless Sandstorm provides the perfect conditions for a Pokemon battle. No mercy! Alright, let's go! Magma! We are gonna go Smudge Bomb! Close. Don't die. Ooh, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. One more Sludge Bomb. Quick pull up, baby, not that it matters, but... we good. Oh, that was it. Cool. Sometimes you think they're gonna have more Pokemon than it's just the one. You're like, oh, that was easy. All right, let's grab this, and then we are at the next city, and we can explore it next episode and uh, go and get the fourth gym badge. All right, we made it. Oh, hi. Hey, you. My name is Josie. I'm director of the city's uh, fossil museum. And I have a request. Speaking not only for myself, but the whole city. Sure, we live in a desert, but the drastic increase in temperature is very unusual. Normally a group of cast form takes care of the temperature regulation and the maintenance of the oasis. For decades, we and the cast form have been living hand in hand to make life possible in the paradise. However, for a few weeks now, there have been no trace of them. We assume that something terrible must have happened. They might have been kidnapped. Many trainers and residents of the city are searching for the cause of their sudden disappearance. If you support us in the search and find them, a great reward awaits you. The cast form will last in on Route 8. Good luck! Okay, that sounds good. We'll do that next episode then. Um... Where is the Pokemon Center? Well, this place is pretty big. Ah, there it is. All right, so, I think it's a great place to end this part off. Next episode, we'll explore the city. We'll go get the fourth gym badge. We'll go to Route 8, try to find the cast form to save the day. And then, um, yeah, see what happens after. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys then. Have a great day. Peace.